Is it possible to survive a nanosecond on the sun? This blazing, dazzling, glowing ball of gas. It's so hot that it could melt metal, vaporize rock, and if you get too close, you could be burned to a crisp. But what if I tell you, you could survive a nanosecond on the sun? Imagine standing on the edge of a volcano, its fiery core bubbling beneath your feet. Now, imagine the volcano is thousand times hotter, and you're not just standing on it, you're inside it. That's the sun. The sun's surface, known as a photosphere, has a temperature of about 5,500 degrees Celsius. That's about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. If you stay there for a while, you'll be turned into a cloud of gas faster than you could say. But a nanosecond is a very, very short time. If a second were divided into billion slices, each slice will be a nanosecond. That is quick. We all know that light is the fastest thing in the universe, right? Well, light only covers 30 centimeters in one nanosecond. That's about the length of a ruler. Let's say by some magical means you get teleported to the sun. During the nanosecond on the sun, photons from the sun would flood your eyes and strike your retinal cells. Like what kind of an idiot goes to the surface of the sun without sunglasses? Like it's literally in the name, sunglasses. Come on. But before your brain could even begin to process the sensation, you'd be back on Earth. You would spend one nanosecond on the sun, but it'll take your brain 30 million nanoseconds to realize that, hey, I just went to the sun. So from your perspective, all you'll see is a flash. But what about your skin? Your skin would absorb only a tiny amount of energy, far less than what a butane lighter would deliver in one second. So apart from a dim flash in your eyes, you might not even notice. While the surface of the sun is incredibly hot, the interior is even hotter. So what if you spend a nanosecond there? Let's look at your chances of survival. The pressure of the sun's interior is immense due to the weight of the overlaying layers of gas. This pressure would instantly crush any human body. The sun's interior is millions of degrees hotter. With the Stefan Boltzmann law, we can calculate how much heat you'd absorb while you're inside the sun. And honestly, it's not good. You'll get a second degree burn after one femtosecond. One nanosecond, the time you're spending there, is one million femtoseconds. Deep in the sun, the photons carrying energy around have very short wavelength. So is that good? Uh, no. The sun emits a vast amount of ionizing radiation, including X-rays and ultraviolet rays. These rays can penetrate human tissues and cause severe damage to DNA and other cellular components. So, to answer the question, your chances of survival, not that much. Don't go to the surface of the sun, unless you're a superman, of course. And YouTube wants you to watch this video next, and you'll love it, I promise.